Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we will be doing the camera review of the OnePlus 11R. So OnePlus 11R was launched alongside the OnePlus 11, but the OnePlus 11R had a different camera setup. It is a 50 megapixel triple camera setup, and it is priced much lower than the OnePlus 11. So OnePlus 11R comes uh, with a 50 megapixel primary sensor and you also get a 16 megapixel selfie camera. So in this video, we will be looking at the camera review of the OnePlus 11R. So before getting into the video, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin the camera review of the OnePlus 11R. So first let's talk about the camera. The phone comes with a triple camera setup and has a primary 50 megapixel Sony IMX890 sensor with f1.8 aperture, face detection autofocus and optical image stabilization. The secondary camera is an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a third 2 megapixel macro sensor. The selfie camera is handled by the 16 megapixel f2.4 aperture sensor. You also get electronic image stabilization support for the selfie camera. So let's go deep into the camera samples. First, let's have a look at the daylight shots. Here you can see that the camera produces good details and colors are also really good. The dynamic range is also quite good and it resolves shadows decently well. The colors are also good and there is no saturation issues. But at the same time, they do look vibrant as well. The images have predominantly a cooler tone but not a major concern though. The detailing looks good, the sharpness levels are acceptable and this is evident when you pixel peel. The overall daylight shots came good and there isn't anything much to complain here in terms of daylight conditions. The ultra wide angle camera also delivers details but it is not comparable to the primary camera for obvious reasons since it's a 8 megapixel shooter. The ultra wide angle sharpness levels are quite average and there is a shift in color tones when you switch from the primary to ultra wide angle camera. Overall ultra wide angle camera looks quite decent but there is an inherent softness in the images. Let's move on to the close up images. Here you can see good details and once again the sharpness levels are also good. Once again the colors are quite good and vibrant too. There is also a macro mode on offer which uses the 2 megapixel camera and the results are strictly average and the detailing and colors looks quite washed out. Let's move on to the portraits. It has good quality portraits, good skin tones and sharpness levels too. The subject separation is good and it detects it well even in complex backgrounds. The images are sharp but contrast could be tad better though. Overall portraits are pretty good on this phone. Let's move on to the low light images. In indoor and artificial light, it produces good details. The colors are good, the noise is kept to minimum and the indoor shots in artificial light also came out pretty well. Moving on to the night mode, here also you can see good details and sharpness levels is maintained well and noise is also very well controlled too. There is optical image stabilization to help reduce the shake. Overall, the low light images taken with the primary camera came out pretty good. The selfie camera on the OnePlus 11R is handled by a 16 megapixel shooter. The selfies looks good and the skin tones are also done well. The colors are good and dynamic range is nice and wide. The scene selfies are more of a personal choice. Do let us know what you guys think about the selfies. There is a portrait mode for selfies and here you can also see good edge detection. Moving on to the video recording, it can do 4K 60fps using the primary camera and the ultra wide angle is limited to 1080p resolution. The video quality looks good in 4K 60fps and stabilization is handled by OIS and EIS. And here you can see stability is good and the quality is also good. There is also 4K 30fps which does EIS and video quality is also good. We feel uh, the dynamic range could be tad better in the videos. Similarly, for 1080p at 60fps and 1080p at 30fps, there is electronic image stabilization on offer and overall the quality of the video looks good.
The ultra wide angle camera can do 1080p video with stabilization, but the colors are not so great and quality is kind of average. The phone also comes with super stable mode in 1080p at 60fps and once again looks quite okay. The OnePlus 11R also supports 1080p at 240fps slow motion video and once again the quality looks good. So this is the portrait video taken using the OnePlus 11R uh, using the rear camera so you can judge yourself how good the quality of the portrait video is and also the background blur in the video. So this is the video recording taken using the OnePlus 11R using the selfie camera. So it can record videos in 1080p resolution. So you can judge how good the quality of the video is and also the uh, audio quality and uh, the overall uh, uh, quality of the 1080p sample from the selfie camera on the OnePlus 11R. So this is the portrait video taken using uh, the selfie camera. So you can uh, judge yourself how good the background blur is and also the uh, the uh, subject separation and uh, the edge detection in the portrait selfie video. So that was the camera review of the OnePlus 11R. So summing up, the OnePlus 11R with the Sony IMX 890's 50 megapixel primary sensor does a good job overall in terms of daylight, low light conditions and even portraits too. The selfies are also pretty good. The only downside is the ultra wide angle camera where the quality could be better and the 2 megapixel macro where the quality is strictly average. But as a whole, there isn't much to complain with the camera on the OnePlus 11R considering the excellent pricing offered on the device. So if you are a casual photographer, the OnePlus 11R won't disappoint you. So what do you guys think about the camera on the OnePlus 11R? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. So this is Normal signing off with the camera review of the OnePlus 11R. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.